Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a pretty exciting video. It's going to be my very first 2021 Chanel unboxing. I have three items to reveal and share with you guys. Unfortunately, I have already filmed this video, but there were some technical difficulties. I don't want to redo the unboxing. The ribbons were the glitter holiday packaging, so I don't want the glitter to go all over the place again. But we're still going to go over them, reveal each item, explain my thought process. Um, so these items were actually bought in December and it was actually even before Christmas. Technically these are things that I you know got myself for Christmas. Before we begin I do want to thank today's video sponsor Lily Silk. Thank you so much for sponsoring this part of the video. I am in fact wearing one of their beautiful shirts already. Such a lovely very feminine shirt that is super versatile. It is in 100% silk neckline with all the ruffling details. The ruffling details continues on the sleeve ends as well. It's really really gorgeous. It's super feminine but super versatile. I'm currently styling it with with a skirt. You can also dress it down with a pair of denim or also uh, just blazer over it. The other one that I got from them, I did want to unbox it here because I know that I don't often show their packaging even though uh, their packaging is always top-notch. So there's two stickers on two ends and there's always tissue papers and all the tags and everything very neatly folded. So this is how it looks like and there's always a little uh, pamphlet inside as well. Cashmere turtleneck is super super soft, really really good quality. I have the exact same shirt already in their grayish color, so in their grayish taupe color, but I went with the cream white color this time. Their sizing is true to size in my opinion. Always check their size chart of course. I always pick the smallest size available, so this is an extra small and I believe they're cashmere, so their knits only come in small, medium, and large. So I got a small in the turtleneck. First and foremost, I just love their quality. Uh, everything is very classically designed, very simple. And you can never go wrong with a good cashmere knit or with a good silk shirt. So I highly recommend them. I know those of you who tried them are a big fan of them already. You don't even have to take my word for it. Just try for yourself to see if you agree. Uh, but I'm going to link these two items in the info bar below. I also have a coupon code that you can also use to uh, get 12% off your purchase. I hope that you guys don't mind that it's a more chattier video. Uh, I guess those of you who just want to know what I got, just fast forward, of course. But I'm really trying to wear my items more this necklace was part of my least used item video. I'm gonna link it down below if you haven't seen my best and worst purchases of 2020. Uh, this was one of my least used. I'm really gonna try to use my items more this year. Really make the effort of any new purchases or any new items that I'm gonna add to my wardrobe, especially luxury because they cost so much, to be really thought out. Anyway, just watch my live stream because we went into lots of detail. In this box, I have an item that I, I kind of ordered and I had to get it transferred from another store in Toronto because it was the last one in Canada. This is an item from a previous collection, so it's from the fall winter collection of 2019. I have to thank one of my subscriber, viewer, loyal watcher of our live stream, MK. Hi MK if you're watching for recommending this item to me. My essay helped me look it up. There was only one left in Canada. It's not my size, but I'm gonna make it work. Anyway, it comes in this beautiful dust bag to reveal another beautiful belt. So like I said, this was a seasonal belt. I wish that they would just make this a classic because it looks like a classic piece. So it's basically a you know, the classic Chanel chain intertwined with leather and the fastening is a little uh, CC buckle that's very discreet. So this is in a size 80 centimeter, which is not my size. I take a 75 in Chanel. So Chanel belts typically have three holes, so three settings the middle one is going to be the size of the belt because it is the last one i took it anyway 
Uh, I'm sure it's been tried on because, you know, when I bought it, it, it looks like it's been tried on. Or maybe it was on a mannequin. I'm not sure. Uh, so I will have to punch at least one more hole at the very end of the leather here uh, to make it work. This is not typically a belt that you would wear to hold your jeans or your pants up. It's just a belt for decoration. So um, I hope it works. I feel like it would work. And uh, you know, because it is a chain belt, it doesn't have to be extremely tight uh, because it's not really holding on to like any pants up it's really just for decoration and i plan to use this you know even over what i'm wearing right now so here is a close-up of the beautiful belt it is in this champagne gold color hardware made in italy it's in leather there's three fastening and the rest of the belt is just their typical chain now from the runway, I do see that in the upcoming collections that they're gonna have more of these sort of chain belts. Not exactly the same as this one, but there is gonna be more. So if you guys are on the hunt for something like this, uh, definitely keep an eye out. I really feel like these are such a statement piece, but because they're so thin, uh, they're so muted that it just really... It basically adds a jewelry section to your waistline. It's not very logo heavy, it's very small and it's just very sort of, um, see? It's just very, very uh, discreet in a way, but it's a detail that you might notice that uh, just really elevates an outfit. The second item comes in this box. So based on the shape, you might have an idea. This was part of the sale. I don't often shop the Chanel sale at all. In fact, I've never shopped the Chanel sale until this year, oh, 2020. I think I know the reason why, because in the past, probably the VIPs would have been offered the best sale items in advance, in the pre-sale probably. But this year, I really made the point to ask my essay whether there was anything interesting in the sale that I might be interested and also whether she would be able to show me in advance. So on the day that I went to pick up this belt, which was uh, just a regular sale, my essay was able to show me uh, a few items, but not in, on display. She basically just was able to show me some shoes. The sale items this time were from the fall winter as well as the pre-fall collection. So 19A, B, and K selection and typically items that would go on sale are costume jewelry and ready to wear and shoes anyway this is part of the sale and it is an accessory obviously <laughs> uh, so i got this beautiful silk if you look at the detail of the scarf there are little people on the on the scarf skiing because it was you know the fall winter collection and I just kind of fell in love with the color because the little motif are so small anyway you can't even really tell that it's like a winter scarf and uh, you know when I saw the color I just immediately fell in love with it because it's just like a marriage of white and gray and pink and there's um, some subtle CC logos all throughout so it's a very very cute motif and just really neutral, easy to wear with any sort of light color outfit. This is a 90 by 90 centimeter scarf. Very, very, very pretty. And anything in the sale was also 40% off. So I ended up paying like, I think $360 for this, which was amazing for a Chanel item. So let me just quickly put it on my self. So you can technically just drape it lightweight scarf easy to travel with um great underneath a blazer especially in the winter in the summer as well sometimes when it gets really really chilly in air conditioned rooms um i just think it's super sweet i just love the colors and yeah i just even just like draping it like this so this big big box is also part of their sale and based on the shape of the box, I'm sure you have an idea what it is. This is my very first pair of footwear from Chanel. So 
So here they are. It's my very first pair of Chanel footwear. Very first pair of Chanel boots. They were part of the 19A collection. So from my favorite collection of all times, the Mitsuya Da from 2019. And they are just very simple sort of fall winter boots. I love the quilting detail here in the front. And then there is a buckle with a little CC logo. It almost reminds me of how my um, belt that I just showed you earlier uh, almost has the same vibe, just very discreet logos. Uh, on the buckle, it also says Chanel. And the boot itself is uh, all leather. The sole is also leather around here. This is there's a bit of a there's a bit of a CC logo here. Uh, this part, the heel has a bit of plastic, but then this is wooden. It's a wooden heel. I took it in a size 38. So I never bought into Chanel shoes before because their sizing is off for me. I am typically a size 37 or 37 and a half in footwear, but I do have a longer big toe. So most of their shoes are not long enough for me. And if I do size up, then they just become super loose. Therefore, I haven't had much luck in their regular footwear department, like in their heels and their meals. But in boots, I can size up because your ankle is in place and everything. It won't just fall off. Those of you who own Chanel footwear, do you recommend that I resole the leather part right away? Or do I wear them off a little bit and then get them resold? It's a little challenging to get them resold at the moment anyway because most stores are closed um, or maybe they have reduced hours and I just, you know, I'm avoiding going out anyway. But let me know anyway uh, what you think I should do about this part of the sole. This part I'm not super concerned but it will sort of wear out over time anyway and I will lose the CC logo but that's fine. That's just the bottom. These are not for very harsh winter because there's no extra lining. It is lined in leather on inside, but there is no extra padding for warmth. So they're great for up to, you know, I'm sure up to zero degrees is probably fine, but anything colder than that, then you need real winter boots. I am going to try on all these things and show you how they look on me. I hope that you guys enjoy my very first unboxing of 2021. Happy New Year for those of you who are brand new to my channel. Maybe this is the first time you're watching me. So welcome. I hope that you stick around. I would love to have you back. So do consider subscribing and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.